Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Supercars. Of course, this is the final weekend preview of the year, which is crazy. Um, and of course, the final round is at the Velo Adelaide 500. So before we get into the track preview, let's go ahead, let's go through some big news that have happened since Gold Coast. So supercars have completed a Gen 3 VCAT uh, which is a vehicle control aerodynamic testing in Toowoomba. Uh, roughly over 1,600 k's of testing was completed across the week. Um, BRT, so Blanchard Racing Team, has announced they're taking part in Super 2 next year with Porsche young gun Aaron Love behind the wheel. Um, so look out for that uh, story unfolding maybe a potential for a future main game seat maybe in 24 25 see how we go but in my opinion probably it opens the door for a possible enduro uh, in 2023 Cameron Hill has been confirmed for Matt Stone Racing for next year alongside Jack LeBrock in the Camaros um, of course that um, some that completes the grid for next year uh, I'll go through a rundown on the grid uh, either towards the end of the year or beginning of next season see how we go with that um, James Golding um, after the massive crash he had in Gold Coast of, of course the chassis will be unavailable as it will be too damaged so they'll be using uh, chassis AAA A53 which was Triple Eight's wild card uh, for Bathurst this year um, but it's also the chassis uh, also the chassis is an Adelaide winner in the hands of Jamie Winkup back in 2020 and if uh, this is what supercars.com said if Ford dominates this weekend then James Golding will be driving the car the last Holden's Adelaide uh, the last Holden to win an Adelaide race there we go I, I knew I was talking about just had to get my words right Righto, um, first draft of the 2023 calendar has been revealed. Um, it appears Sandown 500 is finally back after a few years away. Um, however, very disappointing to see New Zealand uh, not on the calendar. However, supercars are aiming for an event in 2024. Um, massive, dis massive shame, because uh, I thought Hampton Downs or something like that would be, be, be um, great to see. Um, Shane Van Gisbergen may run the number one on his Commodore uh, for Holden's last race. Um, of course, he's been running uh, 97 um, ever since Techno days. And car number one has never been used um, since Jamie Winkup back in 2018. Of course, McLaughlin kept running the number 17 and then Gizzy with car 97. Uh, Triple Eight will also be using a tribute livery um, as well as I think WAU. Um, however, neither of those have been revealed yet. Um, Scott Pye receives a tweaked livery uh, with Toyota forklifts backing the 20 Commodore uh, for his home race. And uh, that is all the news. So let's get straight into the track preview. Uh, of course, it's a 3.2 uh, K track with 14 corners, uh, two 250 K races each day, so 78 laps. Um, the track has been resurfaced uh, around the final part, um, the, like the Parklands area. So expect quicker times there and beautiful hot weather conditions with a top of 33 degrees at this stage. Um, but the problem is with Adelaide weather, you never really know. So, But most importantly, at this stage, it looks like looks for a dry weekend, which is very important um, for a street race. So hopefully we have a cracking finale to the end of the year. So that's all I have for the weekend preview. I know it was very brief, um, but uh, that was my plan. So next week, uh, I'll be actually at the track. So I might be filming a Let's Talk Supercars um, at the track, see how we go. Um, but if you're there, hope to see you there. And uh, let me know who you think uh, will be the winners in the weekend. I believe, in my opinion, I think um, either Gizzy or... Um, Mostert has a running for the top two. Um, they're very strong at street circuits. Um, James Corney's been all right here. However, his car hasn't been the best lately. Um, but he's definitely a good driver around this track. But yeah, definitely my top, I'll say my top three is Gizzy, Mozzie, and uh, we'll say Davison, I reckon. That's my top three. So let me know what your top three is in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for the weekend report next week.